Hello friends, uh, this is the basics of biology tutorials and this is a short video about the invasive species because I have used this term in the population uh, in, in the previous case. So if you don't uh, understand what invasive species are, so let us discuss in very short period of time. Now, invasive species, actually there are two different types of species according to the presence or uh, they are uh, present in a niche uh, inside a particular population. Now uh, one is the introduced species, another one is the invasive species. Now, the introduced species are any organism that was brought to an ecosystem as a result of the human action. For example, here you can see the inside the Kudzu is an island, an invasive vine is a uh, as is shown in this picture whatever the introduced species means if suppose inside a particular ecosystem we have encountered uh, if, after utilizing several techniques we come to we come to know that uh, a particular species is getting hampered or something like that so we need to bring that species again in into the ecosystem for example the yellowstone national national park in uh, in uh, in the USA, as you see, Yellowstone uh, National Park is ripped off with the wolf in the previous time. So, as a result of that, the ecosystem collapses at this region. So, we need to uh, replace back the wolves in this uh, ecosystem of Yellowstone. So, we utilize, uh, we take all those uh, new wolves and we put them into this Yellowstone National Park, and then again the ecosystem restores. Now. Uh, this introduction of the new species of the organism onto the particular ecosystem by human actions are called the introduced species. Though the species lived uh, previously in this region, but due to the human act, it is reintroduced, so it's also introduced species. Now, what are the invasive ones? As the name suggests, it's invasive. That means a species that takes advantage of an unoccupied niche. So, suppose the niche is free, so the unoccupied niche uh, is uh, the first choice for the species to go and occupy that species because it is unoccupied and free for danger or sometimes what happens they can also go there un, uh, without noticing that this is unoccupied it is already occupied by other species but this new species will go and compete with those uh, native species and out competes those native, native species as a result of that this new species can live on there for longer time so this is called the successfully out, comp uh, out competition and the new species will stay there now this species which which go and uh, takes the advantage of the unoccupied niche or successfully out competes the native species are called the invasive species okay so this is uh, the effect of invasive species and uh, the examples of invasive species you can see here hydrilla is an invasive species in this case uh, so this is us invasive species again this is aquatic species uh, so so this is again uh, the european starling cane toad these are also and uh, different Partial list is cane toad and European starling, wild boar, and all these things. And at risk of widespread instruction, what, what the instruction that is uh, taken account are the snakes and also uh, microbes. In microbes, if you look at the invasive species, example is West Nile virus and also citrus pencor. Okay, so this is all about the simple about this uh, invasive species, and I hope it will help you to understand what is it. Thank you.